In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 easy steps to get your One RS out the box and help you film, edit and publish your first Reframed 360 video from the Insta360 app. So let's get started. Open the One RS box and in the box is the One RS Core, the 4K boost lens, the 360 lens, the battery base and in the white box is the mounting bracket, the lens cap and the charging cable. Next, remove all the plastic packaging from the One RS. I highly recommend you put the lens cap over the 360 lens when you're not using it to protect it from getting damaged. To turn your One RS into a 360 camera, pull the One RS core mod and the 4K boost lens away from each other and store the 4K boost lens in the box for safekeeping. Grab your 360 lens and make sure the connection on the One RS core and the clip on the 360 lens are on the same side and join the mods together. Connect the battery base by pushing it into the One RS. To open the mounting bracket, press the red buttons on either side of the case. Slot the One RS into the mounting bracket. Remove the lens cap and close the mounting bracket. And place the lens cap back over the 360 lens. Slot the tripod adapter into the One RS mounting bracket. And secure the tripod adapter in place using the thumb screw. And now your One RS is assembled as a 360 camera. The next step is to fully charge your One RS. So to do this, open the side door, plug the charging cable into the USB-C slot, connect the other end of the cable into a USB plug, put the plug into a socket, switch it on, and your One RS will begin charging. When the One RS is charging, you'll see a red LED light over here. And when the One RS has finished charging, then the LED light will automatically turn off. Now let's put the micro SD card into the One RS. The best micro SD card I recommend for the One RS is the SanDisk Extreme V30 U3 A2 micro SD card. I recommend a minimum of 128 gig and I personally use a 256 gig micro SD card. To insert the micro SD card, open the side door and pull it out so it's easier. Insert the micro SD card and push it until you hear a click. Push the slide door back in and close it. Next, you need to download and install the Insta360 app. So to do this, go to your app store, search for Insta360 and install it. Next, let's connect the One RS to the Insta360 app. First, I'll make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is on on my phone. Then I will turn on the One RS. Tap the tick for the English language. Then open the Insta360 app. Agree to the terms and conditions. Enable all the permissions for a smooth experience. and tap go to app. Tap yes. The camera has been recognized by the Insta360 app. Tap connect camera. Tap confirm on the One RS. Tap update to update your One RS. And wait for the process to complete. Tap upload firmware file to camera and just wait for the process to complete. Tap allow and connect. Wait for the firmware update to finish. When the update is finished, tap to connect to camera, activate the camera you can choose to register for warranty now or later. And now your One RS is connected to the Insta360 app. Before you start recording 360 video, 
you need to format the micro SD card to make sure you don't have any SD card errors. So to do this, swipe down from the top of the screen, go to settings, scroll down to SD card, tap format SD card and confirm. And now your SD card is ready to use with your One RS. To record the highest quality 360 video possible, make sure you are in video mode and set it to record 5.7K at 30 frames per second. 5.7K will give you the highest resolution 360 video and 30 frames per second will give you the most stable video. Swipe left from the right of the screen to bring up the exposure settings. As a beginner, it's okay to start with using auto exposure settings during the day, but if you want to get high quality 360 video in low light, then you will need to learn how to use manual exposure settings. I will leave a link in the video description to a video which shows you how to use manual exposure settings. Set the color profile to vivid, and this will give you 360 video with colors that are ready to upload onto social media. And finally, Swipe down from the top of the screen, go to Settings, General, Sharpness, and set it to Medium. Go back, and you are now ready to start recording high quality 360 video. The last thing you need to know before you go out and film for yourself is how does the invisible selfie stick effect work? Well, as long as the selfie stick is thinner then the stitch line of the 360 camera, then the selfie stick is automatically invisible without any post editing. And if your selfie stick is still being seen in the shot, then you may need to tweak the angle of your One RS very slightly until you don't see the selfie stick in your shot anymore. Go outside somewhere nice and record a 15 second shot of yourself walking with the One RS extended in front of you. Now let's get the shot in the Insta360 app and export your first reframed 360 video. To edit your 360 shot in the Insta360 app, turn on the One RS and open the Insta360 app. Tap connect to camera and wait for the camera to connect. Find the shot you wish to edit and open it. So here's a shot of me walking down a market. The first thing I'm going to do is trim this shot down to a 12 second shot. So to do this, tap trim, drag the left marker inwards to trim the start of the shot and drag the right marker inwards to trim the end of the shot. And I will bring it down until the duration says 12 seconds and tap the tick to confirm. And now I have a 12 second shot. Next, I'm going to reframe the 360 video to look in the direction I want to show my viewers. So to do this, you need to add keyframes. Keyframes tells the app, this is what I want the video to look like at this specific point in time. So at the beginning of the video, I want myself in the middle of the frame. So I will add a keyframe here. And in frame, I will leave the field of view as ultra wide to show off the background. I can change the field of view to narrow to zoom in, but I will leave it as ultra wide for now. So now the app knows, this is what I want the video to look like at the beginning of the video. I want to maintain this view over the next three seconds. So I will reframe myself in the middle and add a keyframe here. Then in the next second, I want to reframe to look in the direction I am walking in and add a keyframe here. So now if I play this back, you'll see the 360 video spin in the other direction. And I want to maintain this view for a couple of seconds and add a keyframe here. And then in the next second, 
I want to turn this view into a tiny planet. So to do this, add a keyframe and in frame, change the field of view to tiny planet. And I'm going to spin the tiny planet around so I'm on top. Tap update keyframe to save this view. And now when I play back the video, you now have something which looks like this. And you now know how to reframe your first 360 video. If you want to change the aspect ratio of your video, hover the white marker over a blank area, tap the aspect ratio and choose an aspect ratio of your choice. I will leave it as 9 by 16. To export your video in the highest quality video possible, tap export. Go to custom, select the highest resolution, the highest bit rate and tap export. And now you know how to export your video in the highest video quality possible. Once the video has finished exporting, you can find the video in your phone album. And just like that, you've edited and exported your first reframed 360 video without even transferring the footage to your phone. And that's it. If you found this video useful, then hit the like button, subscribe for more useful tutorials like this one. And if you want to master your 360 camera in no time, then check out the brand new Best 360 Academy. It's a set of online courses, which will show you everything you need to know about your Insta360 camera and you also have access to my expert help and support on demand. Well, that's everything for today, and I'll see you in the next video.